to a COVID-19 success story. A coronavirus survivor is headed home after 48 days in the VA hospital. NBC4's Gordon Tokumatsu has his emotional release. Jerry Salas can be forgiven for losing track of time this morning, or for that matter, not being up on the latest headlines. After all, he just left the VA hospital for the first time in 48 days. He told us he was performing with his band at the LA County Fair in September. And I'm hoping that happens. Um, County Fair just got canceled. Yeah. Did it? Oh. Got canceled. Yeah. oh, well. After what he's been through, not much bothers this Vietnam veteran anymore. Infected in late March, brought here in really bad condition a short time later. Well, he had respiratory failure, uh, he was septic. He had renal failure. He's also 68, living with other health issues that often mean death when it comes to COVID-19. VA doctors don't mince words when describing his chances. He was actually very close to uh, not making it through this. To make Jerry's climb even steeper, doctors had to use two extreme procedures to save him. Intubation for almost an entire month, and then they had to cut a hole in his neck just to keep him breathing. This is one of the, one of the steps that actually saved his life. And what a life of music it has been. Jerry's always given back to his VA family, singing and teaching music to veterans suffering from PTSD to name just one way. His nephew-in-law says Uncle Jerry never forgot his army days in Vietnam. Survived horrendous things. And, and we did know that he was gonna make it. But if Nam can't kill me, this is not gonna kill me. <laughs> Salas has a habit of cheating death, says his family. He says his heart goes out to thousands of others going through what he did right now, especially other vets. If I can make it, they can make it. A message of hope from a pretty tough guy who's home now. God bless you all. At last. In West L.A., Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.